Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Technic, and in today's episode, we get to open this Asus Rogue gaming laptop called the Zephyrus. Let's go. We've done quite a few gaming laptops on the channel before. I think the original or the regular MSRP on this is around $1,500 or more. We'll put that here. Boop. Yeah, see how close I was. That should be a whole side game. How close am I to ever actually giving the right number? Um, but well, we found this on sale and we picked this up for right around $1,100. Now, this is not top tier. This is not gonna break the mold. But again, for most gamers, especially for kids that are wanting to get into PC gaming and the parents don't really know what to do, and we end up overbuying. You don't need the highest, the best, newest, and greatest computer that's out there. For most of us, for most of the gaming stuff that we're going to do, a, a good entry-level or mid-level machine is going to handle a lot of that. And so that's the hope here. Um, and then obviously here, because of the channel, we might be doing some editing and some other stuff like that. Um, just quickly, now this is a 15.6-inch screen. It is the AMD Ryzen 9. I think it had 16 gigs of DDR5 in here and it's rocking an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. So it's going to be a more than capable device. It did have like a piece of tape here on the bottom and my box is kind of jazzed up here with the label so don't uh, don't judge me. So this thing as this thing opens, I can you, I don't think you can see this. This is cool. As you open the top, the box, I can feel the resistance and it makes the laptop stand up out of the box. Do you see that? That is the coolest presentation. Let's see if, so as this box opens, look at the laptop raising up. That is so cool. Okay, brownie points right there. Let's get this in the light so you can see it. That was really cool presentation. Now. I will say that the overall design of this laptop is simplistic, so the box was probably a little showier than the laptop is, but that is okay. In this box, let's see what we've got here. Looks like a little user manual. User. We'll just, we'll just put that right back. So we got a power cable under one side. We've got the tray box thing here, and that's it. Let's get this little band off of our... That one was on there. It did not want to cooperate. Ugh. Got a little pile of trash over there. I've been called worse. All right, here we go. We're going to unbag our, our laptop. Now again, this design is not one that's really over the top. See here on the side, we've got USB and we got a memory card slot there. Uh, power, HDMI, Ethernet cable, which looks to me to just be an open port. It doesn't have those little clicky cover tabs. I hate those so much. And we got another USB panel or a, a, a port here, and then two USB C's with a headphone jack in the front. When you open the screen back beyond 90 degrees, raises the laptop. So if we can. See that from here, I'll try to angle that. When I get to 90 degrees, watch carefully here, watch what happens. This laptop, the, the base of the back of the laptop actually raises. I guess that's maybe an ergonomic thing. I'm not exactly sure why they did it, but it's kind of another cool little, kind of matches the tone of the box, right? You open the box up and the laptop kind of came up. Well, as I open the lid back, it kind of comes up again. Um, let's go back a little further here, and you can see what I mean is the hinge of this is way down at, seated at the bottom here. And so you see from the side here, that's kind of a crazy design. Now my screen doesn't come down that far, so it's not like it's in the way, but it is rather unique. Um, it gives a super thin profile to the top of this. It makes the base feel very large. Now in reality, for most gaming PCs that are out there, this base is actually pretty thin. I don't know if you can see, but that's that's probably half the 
thickness of this first little fleshy part of my finger, whatever that, whatever you want to call that. What is that called? The little first bendy, the little first part of this appendage. Can we put that down here? But the point being that this top is so skinny, so skinny that even as thin as this is, it, it's just drastically different. We've got the Republic of Gamers logo here as this is booting up for the first time. Uh, maybe worth mentioning through Best Buy, I do buy quite a few things there. I think, you know, just so I can try to keep my elite member status. To set up uh, your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. Um, on Best Buy, uh, like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, on Best Buy, this is rated about 4.5 out of 5 stars. That was with almost 200 reviews. We'll walk through some of this setup together real quick. You know what I could do? Do you mean is it worth me putting it on the on the screen over here? My distant inner phalangeal. Distal. My distal inner phalangeal. We're just going to kind of mirror as we go through the setup here and see what's happening in the background. Obviously, it's not the 21st century of the first thing out of the in box. It's not an update. So, as you may have seen in the past, I'm a huge fan of updates and all that tech. So, Buckle up, boys and girls. Here we go again. Um, but while it's doing this initial setup, I'm hoping that we're not going to have too much that's going to be happening here. My distal phalange. What is it? Inner My phalange. distal inner phalangeal. Phalangeal? It's a phalange. Regina phalange. It ends Regina phalange. It ends an L. And a distal inner phalangeal. That's this first little thing, guys. Show your parents or your friends or whatever, right? You can learn something when you come here. So my distal inner phalangeal, uh, about half of that is the width of this laptop. Laptop is just updating. Uh, I'm still hawking. Mm, excuse me. Thought Optimus Prime was coming through the computer for a second there. Autobots roll out. Sam, Sam Witwicky. I am Optimus Prime. The best part, though, is is Sam. Bumblebee! So I don't. If you've watched the channel for any length of time, you you may have figured out there's a small chance Shy and I could be cousins. I like to think so. Anyway, we have the same energy. I got some of that LaBeouf energy. It's, it's coursing through my veins. Bumblebee! Anyway. JB's PC. I always like when I get to set up John's computer and he has no control. He's behind the camera right now like, Oh, God! Why would he, why would he name it that? <laughs> it's the small things in life. Relish them. You gotta stop and smell. Optimus! Jesus! Sam. WD-40. What is it? <laughs> we didn't have that on Cybertron. Here in the new studio, we actually... <laughs> we have internet. Like, we have good internet. So, um, John logged back in his account and then downloaded Rust, No Man's Sky, and Age of Empires 2 for us to play with real quick. Obviously, what you're hearing right now is coming through the monitor in the space, uh, not through the laptop. So, you okay, know. button. Narrator dialogue. Exiting narrator. Multiplayer. Learn to play. Have you closed multiplayer? But exiting narrator. Multiplayer. Button. I hate narrator. Single player. Multiplayer. Learn. I've done. Quick play, post game, button. All right, so as we can see here, it's handling Age of Empires 2 with no issue, as we would expect. Now we're gonna jump out into something else. I don't know if you're seeing it on the screen. I feel like I'm experiencing a little bit of lag. I can't say that that's from the laptop's processing ability and instead just from the gameplay. To be very fair, I have never seen the intro of No Man's Sky ever load without a little bit of those skips like that. So, I will say the screen on this laptop, this gaming laptop, 
The picture quality is absolutely incredible. I'm not seeing any issue here. This is all looking really smooth. Again, the picture on this screen up here is not going to be near as impressive as what I'm seeing on this QHD. I'm not seeing anything that leads me to believe that this system can't handle No Man's Sky. A little bit of a lag right there. I can't say again that that's from the PC and not just No Man's Sky itself. Um, the only other game I got was Rust. And, well, we might as well. And I will tell you, if you haven't played Rust, don't be afraid if when this game starts I am completely naked and um, just kind of running around aimlessly like I don't know who I am. That's really how this game starts. It's almost like you, you have amnesia, you wake up, you have no clothing, and for some reason you're holding a rock. Seems like a normal Tuesday, right? This load will take a second here. Uh, this is all pretty normal to rust. This has nothing to do with the PC itself. The difference that you're going to see here and here is you're going to be on a Ryzen 9. I've been excited to get some gameplay behind us on a Ryzen chip. Um, the Ryzen chip is really performing. Getting a little bit. Did you see it? A little bit. Now, of a tear right there. Now, to be fair, we could have been having a little bit of an internet lag for just a second. I'm not hard-lined in, so I am on a Wi-Fi signal. I don't think... Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing any issue with this. This computer is not going to have a problem pushing uh, anything that you throw at it. Now, again, I didn't try to break this thing, right? So, for what you're, you're going to do, 90% of the games that you're going to throw at this, or the task you're going to throw at this, this is an extremely capable computer with this Ryzen 9 paired with this RTX 3060. Guys, uh, if you have any questions about this, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We'll try to respond to those as fast as we can. This has been a, a quick thought on the Rogue Zephyrus, I believe is how you say that. 15.6 inch QHD screen, 165 hertz, Ryzen 9 RTX 3060 gaming laptop. We appreciate all of the views and we appreciate every single one of you guys. Keep sharing us with your family and friends. Come back and catch us next time. I'm Nick with Technic. See you soon.